All right, legends, welcome back. I got a few posts that Forex has done in the last 24 to 48 hours. I'm going to have to do this one a little bit different. It's just so many different parts to it. It's just going to be easier for me to just go through Telegram so you guys can get the information. So you can go ahead and continue doing, you know, going about your day and just listen as I explain what's going on. All right, so first thing was... He said the pig pen game is going to have 20 plus characters, many abilities, many items, which affect users abilities, X points that can increase character skills, daily raffles to win items. It's super based. He's very excited about it. Then he goes on to say he's very excited about it. He said we are constantly thinking about the next big thing for drip and when it hits, it will be big. Because early whales are getting maxed out every day and the user base continues to grow every day. So if, if you look at it this way, look at the ratio. We have one or two whales come out and max out their wallet each day. And we have 100 plus people coming into drip each and every day. That's what he's referring to. Next, he was saying that he had, an, yeah, we knew he had the interview yesterday with the BSC News. And they're writing an article up about all the projects. And down here says, I'm grinding right now behind the scenes. So we have everything wrapped up by the end of next week. Now, he also did say that during the interview, well, once the interview was concluded, the people were so enthralled, I guess is the right word, with him and Drip. They said they're going to invest in it. Hopefully I can find that one right now. Said he's grinding. I got that one. Also, a ton of work is being done on building the team. We hired a third dev who has already started working on the pig pin game. He is also very well known and respected dev in the space, working out the CMO situation. They made the proposal and they're going to tighten up and agree on terms. <sighs> Folks, if <laughs> I don't even know what to say, bullish is not in my, in my vocabulary. I, of course, I'm bullish, but. I'm just, well, I, I can't think of the right word, just in 100%, period. There's nothing bigger than 100%. Um, so next he said that, so on Monday, we should have essentially everything for vault, for version two built. What we, what we then have left to do is to decide on how we will handle the dog's crediting. Likely we will come up with a new product to do it because I don't want to do to add vesting to the MasterChef contracts and crediting to the MasterChef contracts with no vesting would not be good. We have a handful of really good ideas and on Monday we will decide which one to go with and then spend the week making it happen. Then we will need to wire up a few things. Likely the way we credit dogs means there will be no dogs or pigs in the farms and pools. So essentially the farm will start fresh which is very bullish because it gives everybody, everybody, not the people that have been here since the beginning like me, everybody, the opportunity to get in at the ground floor. Mm -hmm. The pig pen game will likely come a week or two after the farm goes live, if not from the same day one. I also want to take some time to do heavy paid and community promotion when all of the development is done. But before we go live to really kick this off right, so consider that all in the timeline. Like he said, we're being very productive right now. We all want to get it done as soon as possible. We are making sure that it's done right and with proper promotion. It's going to give us a chance to see what the CMO can do for us, which is the, the chief marketing officer. But like he said, hey, put him to the test. If he can't handle the pressure, he got to go. Uh, right here, the pig pin game will be a great promotion because some of the sites, excuse me, do not want to promote passive income because of all the scams in the space, but they all promote games. So we will heavily promote the game as a standalone product on these sites. But of course, to get into the game, you have to have the pig token. That's what I'm saying, folks. You got to need to understand what our dev does. If you haven't looked at my series, what my dev, what your dev do. This is what our dev does. Every damn thing has to be for drip. If it's not going to support the drip in the community, he's not going to do it.
Next. Somebody asked him about the hints on the video game. He said, it's a game where you can choose to play a more passive role, earning points and building up defenses and items to defend these points, which can be cashed out for real assets, or you can choose to play a more active role and attack other players in the game, stealing their points. And like he said, he had the, it's the 20 characters, many abilities, many of which user, the abilities, XP points, and that can increase the character skills, daily raffles to win items. Then he said, um, the game is not, the game is a lot like a non-crypto turn based mafia game that was very popular in the early 2000s. Now I was alive back then, so I'm not, not sure what game he's referring to. He also said, but it's a DeFi crypto play to earn version. And that's the promotion of marketing. Okay, he said, some of the items in the pig pen game can be bought with the points you earn and steal from other players. But there is a pay to win type element where some of the characters and items can be bought with our native assets as well. There will be items which you can buy only with drip. There we go again. Either way, the game is very balanced. So it actually takes some strategy. It's not whoever has the most money wins. So I'm gonna have to make sure my son, he's in drip as well because he's almost 20 and he's all into the video game. So I'll make sure he gets the strategy together and then I'll make sure I do the video on the strategies. Either way, the game is balanced. Okay, we did that one. That was the interview. Okay, he said here, they asked why is the new game named Pigpen? He said, you need to buy into the game with pigs or AFPs. When you do, these pigs are staked into the pig pen on the back end. The BUSD and pigs being generated by the pigs staked in the pig pen by the game is part of where the game rewards are coming from. Also, some of the items will be sold for assets that will increase the game's reward treasury. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, folks, this was a little bit different because normally I can cut and paste when I find when I'm listening to them or whatever. But I just want to make sure you guys know what's going on. So I guess on Monday, we should have our new UIs up. So I'm not sure what time it's going to be CST, EST, because normally he goes with Eastern Standard Time. So it's coming. So I'm ready. So like I said, folks, you need to be make sure you're in the right mindset and you've devised your strategy. You sat with your significant other or if you're on your own, you've sat and designed your strategy. Because like I said, I've seen a lot of the, the team leaders and the other YouTubers speaking on purchasing the DRIP BUSD liquidity pool tokens now in anticipation of the farm opening back up. So, and then if it doesn't open back up or whatever, whatever, for whatever reason, you can always split them back up and take the DRIP deposit into the faucet and take the BUSD and put it into the DRIP garden. So there's always a different scenario. So, like I said, you, you want to get your strategy right. Like I said, if you're going to go ahead and get your drip tokens and you were saying that you was going to load up, you better load up while you can, while it's back down in the tens. Because once everything starts coming online each week and then it's the next week, it's not going to, is there's no time for it to start dropping back down. Because like I said, the biggest thing is that we've already figured out about the reservoir. And the reservoir is continually to grow every single day. And as you see, I've done my deposits every Friday. So you, you have to get in there and get your strategy together. And please take your time and look at that special report that I did earlier today. It's really eye-opening and out of the L7 Crypto's concern for you and your family's financial legacy. All right, guys, I'm going to end it there. Thank you for your time. And as always, the three, crypto is an individual endeavor. So you need to do what's best for you, your family, and your family's financial legacy. DRIP has the community component. The community component is everything. We are 100,000 strong. Now, granted, there's some other um, coins out there or tokens like XRP Army, and there's, I know, the Shiba Inu one and those ones. It's still not the same. It's not even the ecosystem. We have an ecosystem seven different streams of income strong well once the rest of the farm opens up 
But anyhow, so the community is what sets us apart. And always increase your knowledge and reduce your risk. You have to. Multiple streams of income plus multiple um, streams of information equals freedom and prosperity. You, You have to do what you have to do. Broaden your knowledge. Always keep that open mind. And as always, this is for informational educational purposes only. Never intended as any type of financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. So please do not take this as any financial advice. You do what's best for you. Now what I'm doing, I'm just sharing some information. And as always, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss all the, the daily dispatches. And folks, again, thank you for your comments. They mean everything. The same as when you like the videos, please do. If you got time to sit there and listen to the video, just hit the little thumbs up and I appreciate it. So for all of my legends, engage.